Sorry for the wind. I am up here on Loveland Pass, 12,000 feet. It's like winter. It's cold. Absolutely beautiful. First time I came here on my motorcycle. Actually, first time I came here was on my motorcycle. I was in such bad shape. All I could do was get off the bike and stand by the bike and take a few pictures and think, oh gosh, someday it'd be nice to be able to climb up on that little knoll. And that's where I am right now, up on that little knoll. We're above Timberline here, as you can see. I'm gonna switch it around so you can see where we just came from. That is the freeway way down there, Highway 70. And it was a grind coming up from Silverthorne just to get to that elevation there. This little road is four miles from the freeway, four miles it winds around, and it is switchback after switchback and super, super steep. And here we are up here where there's still snow from apparently last year. Uh, if you're familiar with the area, Arapahoe Basin is just down the road here. We're at the top, we can see the ski lift stuff behind me. But uh, is this an unbelievable, beautiful sight? Uh, head down the mountain. Ooh, I gotta get this picture for you. You're gonna love this, hold on. Well, again, I'm gonna apologize for the wind in advance. It's just windy. I'm in Leadville, looking for a restaurant. And uh, I think I found one up the rock, up the road here. There's two that I came to last time, and both of them are closed. Closed on a Wednesday, huh? Well, I couldn't get out of the wind, so I found a little place to get out of the wind. And uh, it's this here gondola car. That's right, let me, uh, well, there's one going by me there. I'm going up to the top of the mountain that is behind Monarch Pass. So I'm gonna have quite a view of the Rockies. My wife, if she's watching this, that's right. I'm on a gondola car going up the side of a mountain. Good God Almighty, I hate these things. Oh, shit. What the hell was I thinking? Well, I think we're at the first pole of nine poles, so gosh, I should pretty much be ill by then. All I need now is for the thing to stop, you know, just like hang here. Anyway, it's been really uh, chilly. Uh, Leadville was just flat cold. I um, came out of, Leadville, uh, of uh, Leadville after having a uh, very, very expensive lunch. We're talking burger and onion rings. Actually, I had a Reuben. Reuben and onion rings were $18. $18. It's a good Reuben, but you know, for $18, it ought to be a really good Reuben. Anyway, it was really chilly up there. Hey, ah, we just stopped. Me hanging over the side of a mountain in a gondola. <laughs> I'm going to shoot myself. Oh, God. Anyway, I'm sure my wife is very happy she is not here with me now because I'd be grabbing her going, Is this normal? Does it always do this? But there's nobody here except you guys. And you're not really here. Well, in spirit you are. You're not really here. I'm here all by myself, hanging from a gondola car over the mountains. Now, to be honest, it's not that high. Oh shit, it's pretty high. Oh well, just got, you know, another interminable amount of sheer panic time to come down. Oh look, I could look going down. Oh, I could sit in the other chair and I would be seeing where I'm going. Hmm. Anyway, Colorado's beautiful. It's colder uh, than I expected it to be. 
It was way too cold for Trail Ridge. It was damn near too cold for the two passes I came over. I was uh, bundled up pretty tight with a neckerchief up to keep the the cold cold off the side of my neck. It was pretty tough. Um, and I don't mind riding in the cold, but I just wasn't that prepared for it. So I, uh, I'll have to get prepared for it. Tonight I'm in Gunnison, and I'll, when I leave here tomorrow, it will be barely above freezing in the morning. So uh, long underwear time. And uh, just get uh, get down off the mountain uh, to Ure, then I've got to go up over Red Mountain Pass. Once I get to Durango, it'll start warming up, and I'll be in, you know, heading to Phoenix, and oh, it gets warm in Phoenix. And uh, now the wind is blowing the gondola side to side. This is really special. So we're going this way, and now we're going this way. <laughs> I love this so much. Gosh, I wonder if they'll let me do it again. Oh no, they won't. I don't know if you could hear the wind whistling through the, the thing here, but uh, there's a lot of wind out there all of a sudden, and uh, that's pretty creepy. Oh, and we're swinging again. Sideways, I wonder if we're going to hit the pole. No. Now the question is, holy shit, now the question is, can I walk back? Ah, I see a little trail down there. Should only take me a couple of days. I'll be there. No worries. There's the Monarch ski area, and there's the road I came up, right up to the Monarch Pass. And I think it's about 12,000 feet. I don't know for sure, but somewhere around 12,000 feet. I don't know if we're going to be at 14,000 feet up here, but we are above tree line for sure. So let's have to see what we've got when we get to the very top here, how tall it is. I found a little spot out of the wind here. And, uh, God, isn't that beautiful? Oh my. Well, I gotta tell you, I gotta get, how to get down the mountain before it gets much colder. It's starting to get cool. Uh, it's almost, almost four o'clock here. And it gets chilly around that time, so to get on down the mountain and, and get on the bike and get on down the mountain and to Gunnison. There we go. You want to help my attitude? Give me some altitude. I love it up here. I'm going to have to get in shape because that you see behind me is called the Monarch Ridge Trail. And I think it's four or something miles, four or five miles. It's 12,000 plus feet. Uh, and it takes us, uh, takes you all the way over so you can see some of the uh, very highest mountains in the in this, this section of the Rockies. And I just really love to do that. Uh, but now I'm going to head down uh, the tram because it won't let me walk. Purely astounding, so beautiful. This lift is uh, 53 years old, seven more years will be 60 years old. It's the oldest tram in Colorado. And I gotta tell you, I've been to Monarch Pass uh, God, a half dozen times. I've never noticed it. Unless I, I noticed it out of the corner of my eye and thought for some reason it was part of the, um, the ski resort. Monarch Ski Resort is right over there. It's a pretty good sized ski resort. Uh, to, looks to me it doesn't have doesn't really have that much elevation like Purgatory or something but it does have a lot of runs. I don't know if this is considered a really good ski resort or not. I don't ski anymore. I used to ski but I don't ski anymore so. Anyway lots of wind. It was chilly up there. Now I'm headed back uh, back down, heading over to uh, Gunnison, where tonight I don't have a bed and breakfast. I couldn't find one that I really liked. There are a lot of hostels, and I wasn't going to do the hostel thing. Um, 
but I am looking forward, looking very forward to uh, doing laundry. <laughs> yeah, uh, and uh, you know, just uh, uh, some time with myself, do a little writing, and you know, get my ass off the bike. So, looking forward to it. I'll check in one more time. Okay, on this, this is really weird. My cable's not moving at all, and that cable's moving really kind of quickly. Why isn't my cable moving while that cable's zipping right along? Why I don't teach physics. Well, it's the end of the day. I'm at a really nice little hotel just outside Gunnison. It's, you know, maybe three miles. Um, it's wooded. It's beautiful. It's very um, kind of upscale. I mean, I'm sitting out here with the pond, you know, and the a whole bit um, not crowded loving it it's been a great day this is uh, the kind of thing I, I, I like to do I didn't get to do some of the things I planned on doing but I also got to do some things I never planned on doing so in the end it kind of equals out and uh, the memories and the stories and the things I've written down probably done a little more writing than I have photography uh, but there's a reason for it. Mm. It'll reveal itself someday soon. Anyway, uh, tomorrow I'm heading to uh, uh, whatever this town is up here. I think it's Montrose. Uh, and then down to Ure, Silverton. I mean, hey, if you're in Colorado and you don't ride the million dollar highway, what's the point? Uh, then down into Durango. I may go as far as Farmington. I don't know. I'm not going to get a hotel tonight for tomorrow night. I'm going to see what uh, the ride brings me and uh, maybe I make a left or a right and do something different. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, it's the end of the uh, end of the line for uh, whatever day this is and uh, I'll uh, see you guys in the morning.